what if we want to skip the practice trials? We can do that easily using the concepts we just learned, inline scripts, labels, and conditional statements. Double-click on the experiment object at the top of the hierarchy. This contains all of the attributes and defaults that are set at the beginning of each experiment. Click on the Startup Info tab, and notice that there are two defaults already selected for you, Subject and Session. These correspond to the message box questions that you see whenever you start a new experiment. Click on some of the other parameters and see if you can tell what they do. We can add our own parameter by clicking on Add. Let's call this parameter Skip Practice and give it the prompt Skip the Practice Trials? Question mark. For data type, select Choice. You can add a new choice by clicking this button here. Type Yes and then press Enter. Add another option, type No and press Enter, then click OK. Now click and drag an inline object just after the instructions and call it Check Skip Practice. Open it and type if c.getAttrib in parentheses skip practice equals yes, then go to do exp trials and if. Let's take a look at the code. C refers to the context object, which has methods for setting and retrieving attributes. The getAttrib method retrieves the value inside skip practice logged at the start of the experiment sees whether its value is equal to yes, and if that is true, executes the code inside the if-else statement. Note that we're making the code point to a label that doesn't exist yet. Click and drag a label object and put it underneath the check for redo inline object. Call it do exp trials. Now run the experiment and notice that there is a new startup prompt asking whether you want to skip the practice trials. Select Yes, and you will go to the experimental trials after the instruction screen. This is useful when you want to debug only a specific section of the experiment or if the participant needs to skip the practice trials for whatever reason. In the next video, we will focus on a separate part of the ePrime suite, eDataAid, which will allow us to test for differences between our conditions. See you then.